Where's my eyebrows? You can't even see them. Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Nassine. I've been doing keto for just over a year now. I've lost 88 pounds. I have four beautiful kids, a Falufi, Fluffy Husky, two kitty kitties, and I love the clicky clickies. Give me a click, that's a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow, which it's been doing a lot lately. So welcome, welcome. Um, today is Saturday. And I will be going to Chris's later and I will tell you why later. But today is Saturday and I'm about to make some biscuits and gravy. So if you want to know how I make my biscuits and gravy, then stay tuned. So I've got my sausage cooked up. I like bigger chunks. Uh, my spatulator broke, so this is what I'm using. Don't mind Josh's dirty dishes right here. I have... Um, this cooked up, this is browned, and it's ready to go. I didn't drain it. We want some of the, the fat in this. So I have one cup of chicken broth that I'm going to add to this. I am going to add four ounces of cream cheese. I guess I could have cut that a little bit better, but you know, when you squeeze it off, <laughs> it does the same thing. And half a cup of heavy cream. All right, so I have incorporated all of that. It's all melted down. Now it is a little bit runny. So what I like to do is add a little bit of Xantham gum. This will last you forever. It is a little bit pricey. It's like, I think I pay like $14 for this, but I've had it for over a year. And you don't need very much. I usually just give it a little sprinkle, maybe a, a fourth a teaspoon, um, half a teaspoon, whatever. I just do a tiny bit of it. It's a thickening agent is what it is. So now I'm just going to incorporate that because I do like my gravy to be a little bit thicker. I don't know about you. Also, I have all these burns and cuts all over my hands, so please. And I couldn't get the nail polish off of one finger. Don't come for me. See how it's already started to thicken some. And I'm gonna just add some salt and pepper and then some garlic powder. I do like a lot of pepper in my gravy and I'm actually not gonna make biscuits I'm just gonna make eggs and I'm gonna put them on top of my eggs all right I'll show you guys my meal when I'm done I just had Bernie mm -hmm. but I just had this text message right it says hi Nassine it's Evan with Bernie 2020 we're building a movement to create a government and an economy um, are you in for Bernie and I just I thought <laughs> Just wanted to reply to it to write down that song I was listening to because I liked it. So I said, original me featuring Dan Reynolds. <laughs> they said, may I ask which other candidates you might be considering? <laughs> no, I'm considering Dan Reynolds. Anyways, this is my breakfast. I have, actually let me open my car manager. I'm a little crooked. Okay, this is a big breakfast. A very fatty breakfast. I kind of only plan on maybe eating one meal, maybe something else later today. So, I have three of the large brown eggs from Born Free. I have 50 grams of the thick cut bacon from Meyer. I have 34 grams of the Sugardale diced ham. I have two servings of the keto sausage gravy that I just made. It looks so good. I poured that on top of my eggs. And then... I have Highland Grog, which has two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream because I'm out of my almond milk and a little bit of English toffee. Highland Grog is a um, butter, scotch, and caramel blend and it's delicious. So for everything that I am eating right now, it is four net carbs and let's see here. Um, I'm sitting at six net carbs for the day. 
because I'm sorry, I forgot the sausage gravy. So six net carbs total, and it's 75 grams of fat, 64 grams of protein, and 967 calories. This is gonna keep me full for most of the day, and I probably will just eat later tonight. So I'm going to go eat this and watch some Sabrina, because that third season just came out. And um, then I'll probably clean, and then I think I need to go like grocery shopping in a little while maybe. We'll see, I gotta make a list, and I'll see you guys then. There's Josh. No, he's leaving. He didn't want to wave. All right guys, I just got done filming my grocery haul, so I'm just gonna give you a quick woo, because you'll see it in another video, so I don't need to tell you about it. But I will tell you this, I got some Zevia. And I got a chomp stick. Chomps. Yes. Discount code down below. I love these things. They're very, very good. Zero sugar. No carbs. Delicious. And you can find them at the grocery store. So that's pretty cool. So I uh, I didn't eat all of my breakfast this morning. I actually gave, it, it was at least one egg and at least half of that serving of the um, sausage gravy to Reese, who actually ate the entire amount that I made. I came in later and he was slurping it off of his plate. He ate that entire thing of sausage gravy. I was like, buddy, oh my God, I can't believe you ate all of that. Nobody else got any. You should have asked. But it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna go sit down for a second before I have to figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff. I'm gonna eat my chomstick and I'm going to enjoy my Zevia. Almost forgot to show you, I have 150 grams of vanilla Too Good yogurt. I have 34 grams of raspberries, 34 grams of blackberries, and about 10 blueberries in here. And I put just a little sprinkle of pure sweetener in here for a delicious little lunch. I decided I'm having lunch. Hey guys, this isn't the best lighting, but I just got to Chris's house, and tomorrow we're going to an open house. So be excited for that I'm going to be doing a vlog um, when we go do our open house and I'm gonna put that on my other channel I think so of course I'll still like include that kind of information here but um, Chris should probably be here soon I got here before he did so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update I have not eaten anything else today I'm actually quite under on um, my macros let me unhook my phone here and I will show you guys what I am sitting at today. All right, so somebody just came up asking if I was DoorDash, so that was kind of funny, but anyways. But anyways, this is what I'm at. So I'm at 14, to 14 net carbs, uh, 70 grams of fat, 76 grams of protein, and I'm only just at 1,000 uh, calories. I had my Zip Fit, so I do need to add that in. So I will add that in super quickly. I'll just put it on the dinner. See if I can find it. All right, so this is my macros for today. 16 out of 20 net carbs, 70 out of 106 fat, 76 out of 104 protein, and 1,037 calories out of 1,436. So I did bring myself a um, Quest Bar just in case I get hungry again, but I don't think I'm going to eat anything for the rest of the night. It is already 10 o'clock, so... Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good keto day. I wish that I would be a little bit more, but I don't want to eat anything else and really put it over. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Nassine. I've been doing keto for over a year now and I've lost 88 pounds so far. Today is Sunday and I am here at Chris's house and we are going to do an open house today. So that's gonna be on my other channel, I think. But I just, I haven't eaten anything yet today and I did hit another new low. It's only by a little bit, 222.6. Yesterday I was 222.8. But I haven't eaten anything yet, but I just went and got an iced coffee from Starbucks. So for lunch breakfast, I have three hard boiled eggs and one can of tuna and a little bit of mayonnaise and salt and pepper. I know it's loud because my dishwasher's going, but I wanted to show you how I cook steaks in the air fryer to go from this to something like that. So I line a little bit of foil on the bottom there and then I've just sprinkled some steak seasoning and some garlic powder on there and then and then just put it in take my phone off the top of it 
Um, I put it at 400 and I think like about 12 minutes. That's it. All right, this is dinner. I should have put my salad in a separate bowl, but this is what I did. So I have 198 grams of this Angus Beef Chuck Shoulder Ranch Steak. I just seasoned it with that garlic and the steak seasoning as I showed you. I have 74 grams of these green beans that I cooked in Kerrygold butter. 100 grams of the Brussels sprouts that I cooked right alongside in the same pot with the green beans. 54 grams of baby spinach. 24 grams of the shredded Parmesan cheese. And then two serving, well not two servings, two tablespoons, which is one serving of the Caesar dressing. And I crumpled up three of these Parmesan crisps from Aldi on top of here. So this is dinner. All of my carbs are coming from the, there's two, let, let me show you. There's two net carbs from the dressing, one carb from the spinach, four carbs from the Brussels sprouts, and three from the green beans. So basically, the carbs are coming from the greens, the vegetables, you guys, and that is good. It's not coming from anything added. So 10 net carbs for this meal. And then as you can see, I only had two net carbs for breakfast when I had that tuna and the eggs with the mayo. And um, then of course my coffee, I got a lot of the fat from that. So I'm sitting at 12 out of 20 net carbs today. I did go over you guys on my fat and my protein and my calories, but it's not by an overwhelming amount. So I went 13 net carbs over, I'm sorry, not, so I went 13 grams of fat over, I went 10 grams of protein over, and I went 175 calories over. I am going to also have my Zip Fizz today that I did not add in yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in now to get it out of the way. There, now I'm at 14. Nothing else changed, 14 out of 20 net carbs. That's not bad, and this is gonna keep me full, you guys. I am gonna fill up on healthy greens, healthy fats, everything. This is perfect. This is a great meal. So, so that's probably gonna be the last that you see of me tonight. I am going to eat my dinner, and then I'm going, oh, I'm gonna have a, wash it down with a cream soda Zevia, and, then I got to do some editing. I got a lot of videos that I recorded. We did not uh, take any recording of the house that we went and looked at. I thought about it and then I decided, well, we'll document some of the process, but we don't really wanna give like too much information away until it's until we actually find something maybe that we're interested in. We did go and look at it and to be honest, it wasn't anything like they made it out to be. So. We are totally passing on it. It ended up being kind of like a really crappy house that, I mean, they said it had a heated garage that could be an, an like a another room. It's, no, there was like a little space heater hanging from the ceiling and there was no, like it was just a garage. Um, it said that, that there was an upstairs, in the upstairs walkway, it was big enough to also make as an extra room. No. So, and the closets were, I don't even know how you consider them closets. The width of a hanger wouldn't even fit. So I don't know. It's just one house. You know, it didn't work out. So we're going to keep looking. But wish us luck that we find the house of our dream. All right, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing night. And I will see you guys tomorrow, Monday, back to work. Yay.